Hello, my lovelies. I'm hoping that you could actually see me in here because I've got the sun in my eyes and I can't see. So I just put in my little ice cream up the top. I don't know if you can see that, but I just put my Mexican giant ice cream bowl up the top there. And this one now is looking beautiful, except for this one, of course. I have to clean this one up. But anyway, I am mainly doing some cleanup today. So come and join me. I look like an Eskimo right now, I know, but it's cold. So anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm looking for a big bundle of joy that I'm gonna put in that spot. I thought this one, because it's growing so fast and it makes my heart sick. Well, <laughs> I see it. So I thought I'm going to put this instead over there. I think this would look so much better in here. I'll put you there. That way every time I step outside, I will see that. I just have to remove this. Okay, hang on. Oopsie. Uh, hang on. Come here. Come here. You are so beautiful. Anything that gives you pleasure in life, you should propagate. <laughs> I'm propagating you more and more. And don't mind if I have a whole bowl of purple delights. I call it purple dreams. Okay, I'll just put you there for now. And turn you around. Oh my goodness. I love you. I love you. I love you. You make my heart sing. Okay, that's beautiful. It's around three o'clock in the afternoon. And this pot here, look at that. Huh? Okay, this came from... <laughs> The other side under my plum tree. Hang on. Oh, I think that's better. I think my voice is muffled because of that thing around my neck. But anyway, my chin. My tip of my chinny chin chin. And this one, I just want to clean up this Romeo hybrid pot because, poor thing, it's just, oh my goodness, suffering. Look, a one, two, three, four plants probably died. No, it's not. How many? There's labels. Just one label missing here. Are you the same? So I've got David, Sin City. Yes, I have seen. Forgive me for not looking after you. So that one can go. Now this one is Celestia. Yeah, that one in the center. Now Celestia here. We have to quickly just do that. Oopsie. I pulled one leaf off. Doesn't matter. Ah, I broke it. Never mind. There you go. You'll feel better if I do this, I promise. So, it might hurt a little bit. Okay, I lost the label. We can't lose that. I can't afford to lose that or else I wouldn't know. You'll just be a one beautiful dream if I lose the la uh, label. Now, there you go, quickly. Oops. Yes, I found the mother root. Oh, wah. Oxalis. Oxalis. Okay. Is there more? Yes. More. Please, there you go. Thank you. And that one too. So, Oxalis has a tap root that sort of just run. And this one is Romeo variegated. This one in the center here. But uh, there's still one leaf with one variegation, but the rest of it is uh, not actually. Oh, I want to this side. Oh, more. See, I can't see properly with these glasses. But anywho, I only have half an hour to do this. That's probably not a good idea to bend over like that. It's killing my back, so I better kneel, woman. <laughs> kneel! <laughs> you have to heed my request that you should kneel so you don't ruin your back. Okay, now all this chop, uh, chopstick, what do you call this thing? Toothpick. I have to remove because I put them in there when I was first, when I first got them. Hang on, Romeo variegated. I'll put you here because I might actually put another plant here later on. The space that's allotted or left for that one anyway. There you go. Oh, that one too. I have to break that off because the flower is not good anymore for winter. Now I just turn this around and so I can see better from the bottom. I am just doing this quickly, you know, because I have to run outside because I uploaded a video today showing I've been outside yesterday looking at my front garden. There's some stuff that bothers me that I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't do something about it. Just a little tidy up. So anyway, this one now. I don't have to be fussy with this too much or say I'm talking backwards. I don't have to fuss around too much with this one because that's good enough. Now, you can stay there. Stay. Hang on. 
Every time I say stay, it reminds me of my baby bird. He likes saying stay. Every time I go out, I don't even have to say it that I'm going out. It's just like I'm thinking to myself and saying, oh, I'm going to go out now. And then Pedro would jump on my shoulder and say, stay. And I thought to myself, this bird's got to be psychic. Okay, I'm going to go outside now. I was going to go outside, but I got hungry. So I thought I'll get some spinach. Rock it. Put it away. Freshly boiled hot water. This is a quick meal for one. Okay, drain that one. Now this one, I cook a big pot and I put them in small portions. And the spinach can go and rock it. I love my spinach and rocket. Anyway, that can go in here. This one now, uh, my kimchi. I buy my kimchi in a big bag of five kilos uh, from my local Korean shop. And then I put them in jars like this. Well, chop it up. It's actually like whole when I buy them. I love kimchi. I love fermented vegetables. I love salad. I love pickles. Put it this way. I love all food. I'm not fussy with food, as long as it's healthy. Although, I do eat some unhealthy ones as well. Okay, come on. <sighs> Yum. Okay. This one is actually not as spicy as the other one. There's two batch of types of kimchi from my Korean store. Now, this one I'm having, not advertising them, but it's Italian style in oil. So, yellowfin tuna. I only have these tin ones once a month. Now, although I like the oil, I like to tip it out. Not too much, just sort of half. That's good enough. You still need oil. Well, I still need a little bit of oil. And what I like to do is smother my basmati rice with it. Come here. That's like one and a half cup of rice. So, okay. And when I cook my basmati rice, I put turmeric. That's for memory. So I can remember the names of my succulents. Okay, my succulents, yeah. There you go, all done. I don't normally eat this with chopstick, this one, because basmati rice, so I need a spoon. I only use the chopstick to pick up my kimchi so I don't contaminate it. So times like this, I miss my baby pee. But anyway, I'm not going to cry because I am over with crying. I will still cry, hang on, every now and then because I'm allowed to, but most of the time, I'm just going to enjoy life. Okay. I got a lump on my chest right now. It's not a throat. A little bit on the left hand side. But anyway, I need to eat. I'm starving. Mmm. Mmm. So I finish this. And I'm going to be off to the garden. I enjoyed my lunch. And brunch, actually. So I only eat when I'm hungry. And when I start eating. <laughs> I don't stop and that's the reason why I only eat when I'm hungry because after eating I'm always hungry then. Now before I get in there I want to break free from this open here here which uh, hang on I just want to chop this off I don't want to touch it as much as possible because the thorns like tiny little spiky stuff on it. The fruit would have been good to eat but I find that these ones are actually it's not as juicy as I would like it to be. So I, I'm just going to get rid of this. I can't get rid of it in one go, but oh, I need my knife. Okay, there you go. One, two, and then nasty because if I brush past this, that's going to be dangerous. So look, we're getting rid of it bit by bit. And it's yes. no touchy touchy. I think I'm gonna go get a knife. Anything to just chop it down, actually. Which reminds me, I <laughs> have. So even if I'm not in front of the camera, now that I'm just here walking to my little uh, pick or my hole, ho, 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 that actually this one reminds me of the trip we had from a uh, Fossicken trip a few years ago. This was given by one of the people from Germany that we met. Ah, don't want to touch you. 
There you go. Come here. Cool. That's it for now. And this one, I really want to get into here. And I just want to see what sort of plants I've got in here. But let's go have a closer look. Let's see the edge of the garden. See those white rocks there? I just want to expose that because this has grown beyond the boundary here and I don't like it. I like to see my white quartz Oopsie. that I planted here. And this is thyme that I planted here, but I want to just pull them all out. They're not supposed to cross this line here. And I'm sorry, thyme, you grow so fast and easy anyway that um, it's not the end of your world. There you go. Look, I exposed two rocks. <laughs> now, okay. Uh -huh. Me too. Cool. I have to move the bin over there. Oh, just so I can get here. Okay. I've had a busy day today. Uh, I went to bed last night at basically four o'clock and then woke up at nine o'clock. So uh, that's my basic sleep. I couldn't go sleep for more than five hours when I'm in town or <laughs> when I'm in civilization and anyway the only time I sleep like a full eight hours is if we're in the bush I don't know why it is I think I believe that I'm sensitive to electromagnetic field or EMF when I'm back in town or well from the bush that is I always get restless here. I still dream, which means I'm in deep sleep, but I dream a lot actually. It's almost hardly a week go past or goes by that I don't dream. And at least a minimum of, uh, I don't want to get near you, of <laughs> three dreams a week, okay? That's when I'm really busy that I can't sort of sleep because I kept waking up in between but if I have a full straight five hour sleep then straight away I dream even when I have a little na na nap in the afternoon uh, before when hubby was still alive at five o'clock I'll sit down with him and watch the chaser here in Australia game show for other countries I don't know if you've got the chaser in your country but we have the chaser here in Australia and anywho I'll sleep next to him on my reclining chair and within five minutes I'm out like a light. I'd wake up when the game is almost finished and sometimes I'd wake up and it's six o'clock the news. Okay, look, I'm making progress. I'm seeing the line. I just want to clear out this area here and then I'll be happy. And then also this one here just expose a little bit of the succulents there. Now, empty this one out. I just had a look at the camera to see what it looks like. And it's looking pretty good. I like it. I used to be, uh, how do you call it, OCD. Everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be in its right place. Every Wednesday, I'll do my laundry. <laughs> and I would do my ironing at night and also defluff a lot of the uh, clothes. Uh, I iron the underwear. <laughs> I change my bed sheet once a week. So everything has to be nice and crisp and fresh. I like the smell of fresh linen. Anyway, how do you call it? Being too OCD. And I should really stop being OCD. 
And so I did. <laughs> three years ago. Well, actually, it wasn't three years ago. Three years ago was the last time I cleaned my house. I only cleaned the areas that we use, like the family room, the kitchen, Pedro's room, and toilet, bathroom, and of course the bedroom where I sleep. Uh, although the bedroom, instead of getting a dusting or once a week, I was doing it once every two weeks. And then you'd say, filthy woman. Anyway, I was too busy and too miserable to clean up. So if someone picks on me on something that I do, of course, I will listen to them. But it's to the detriment or their detriment anyway. I just do things like that. So you say, oh my goodness, you're a bit nasty. No, it's not. I think people should let other people do what they want. And if you want things done, do it yourself. Don't expect another person or the other person, in my case, my hubby and I, uh, to do whatever one wants done. You do it. So, but anyway, I normally do things my own way without asking anyone for help because I am Miss Independent. But my husband, every time he needs to work on something, I call it, here we go with a big production. He wants to get everyone involved. And so <laughs> he would ask me, oh, um, have you got this? He's got his own tools and I got my basic tools, but he got more comprehensive tools. And yet he seemed to like to go after my tools all the time. All the time. Okay, hang on. This one now I need to chop. Doesn't that look fantastic now? Oh, look at that. So I can see the line. I just want to follow the line. Follow the line. I'll leave that now. That's good enough for now, but I'll just pick up a couple of those thingamajigs there, but I'm going to continue over here. Come a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. And I can also clean up on the other side there. So anywho, I am now in here. I'm just going to be going in and out my levelies. So I need to clean that up a little bit better for now, but this is rough enough. Just roughly. Don't have to be OCD, like what I said before. Because um, winter is still here. I, we still have another, hang on. Rock, did I hear a rock? There you go. Um, uh, do we still have another, what do you call this? Month. One month and one week, roughly, uh, before the end of winter. So we're sort of right in the middle of winter. And June, July, August is winter. September, oh, I love September. I'll see you in September. Anyway, uh, one of my September, favorite September song is September Morn. And I will tell you the story of September Morn later on. And probably uh, that's a good story to tell on my cleaning videos. Anyway, this one now. Francesco Baldi, look at them, they're so pink. But I'm not even going to touch that because, uh, see, now I'm getting OCD. <laughs> this is really quick to do, so I'm just going to pull this off. amazing what a little bit of cleaning can do look even from my well-being just looking at it just seeing this white line that goes straight across there already makes me feel better but I'm only here for like I don't know probably 12 minutes or maybe 15 at the most and I am getting hot now so which is good because uh, tonight, I think we're gonna have, we're not gonna have frost, I think, tonight, maybe. The next one, two, three days, and Saturday. So today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning, we'll have frost again. Oh my goodness, look! Look at that! Huh? Yes, I can see the white rocks. I can see the white rocks. 
smiling right at me. Seeing you this way makes me feel happy. Very, very happy. Look at that. Okay. Uh, who likes cleaning? Like cleaning the house or washing dishes? One of my daughters love washing dishes and she likes cleaning the kitchen, specifically kitchen and bathroom because of uh, the tap and metal bits. She likes stainless steel to be shiny. She gets satisfaction of looking at shiny bathrooms and uh, toilets and <laughs> kitchen. So she's kind of obsessed with cleaning up that way. And my other daughter, <laughs> who's feeling the business of everyone anyway, um, they actually don't like being on YouTube. A few times I ask, but uh, they would say, no, mom, don't put my face on YouTube. So I've done a video once. I was actually doing Pedro and the kids were laughing in the background. The minute they realized that I was filming Pedro, they all shut up and went quiet. They don't want to be on YouTube. Okay, so uh, to each its own. Anyway, so I said to them, oh my goodness, mom can't even make content out of you. Doesn't that look fantastic now? Oh, look at that. Hang on. Oh, oh, that looks so much better. Oh, I feel better now. I'm like, what is that? There's a commercial here in Australia before TV commercial. Say, I feel better now. What commercial was that? Never mind. Anyway, just that little bit there to do. I'm panting, but because I need a drink. Anyway, just that section here, and then I'm done. I can go inside and have a cup of tea. I am now going to continue just tidying this up just a little bit more. <gasps> what did I see down here? Another beautiful, look, Douglas hat that's just so pink. Now I'll put you here because I think that's exposed to the sun. So anyway, guys, the sun's in my eye. So I'd like to thank you for watching and hope I'll see you in the next video. Now let's go watch another of Pedro's uh, clips just to give us a good feeling of bird happiness so that our hearts will fly